It's now my pleasure to call forward Professor Charles Standish, who will introduce our principal speaker. Professor Standish is director of the Cutson uh, Institute for Archaeology and Professor of Anthropology at the University of California, Los Angeles. He is a, uh, also a senior fellow of the Dumbarton Oaks Research Library. He's a specialist in prehistoric societies in the Andes, uh, where he's conducted extensive archaeological research in Peru, Bolivia, and Chile. Uh, his uh, Listing, uh, I think, in the program will show three of the books uh, that he's written about this. Professor Stanish has also been a leader in de uh, developing strategies for preserving and sustaining cultural historical, soci uh, historical sites. He was elected a fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 2006. Professor Stanish. <clears throat> Thank you, Professor Gill. Uh, I was asked to keep it brief, less than five minutes. I am pleased to say it will be even briefer. Um, the, uh, <clears throat> the, the, the image of, of archaeologists as merely a collector of objects is an old one, and uh, this unflattering image, unfortunately, describes our field in the 18th in 19th centuries, perhaps similar in some ways to chemistry's obscure origins and alchemy. About 100 years ago, however, archaeology grew into a systematic natural history, a discipline that straddled the humanities and sciences. 50 years ago, the field continued to evolve with one branch now constituting uh, a comparative behavioral and social science. Scientific archaeology today is now able to tease out some of the most fascinating details in the social evolution of our species. Uh, many people are amazed to learn that we can now describe with great accuracy the diet of people who lived 10,000 years ago using a number of techniques uh, ranging from isotopic residue analysis to x-ray diffraction on stone tools. We can trace the evolution and history of disease using DNA. We track human migration by measuring ratios of strontium in people's teeth and ribs. We recreate ritual processions using virtual modeling. We define the effects of humans on the, on the plant and animal evolution by measuring various genetic changes. We can model the acoustics of a 5,000-year-old temple using engineering principles. We detect minute changes in local climate, analyzing pollen cores from bogs and lakes. And we define the strategies that people use to cope with such changes using <clears throat> agent-based modeling. These and countless other facts about our ancestors help us more fully understand social evolution, and these are all now within our grasp. All of these innovations have been driven by new technologies that allow us to constantly expand our ability to, sorry about the pun, dig deeper to discover new data. Professor Tom Levy represents the best of this tradition, being first a great field archaeologist and accomplished theoretician who understands the appropriate role of technology in science and model voting. And I really emphasize the appropriateness. Too many of our colleagues find a, find a really nice toy and then try and find the, the scientific questions to fit it. Tom understands that you have to use the appropriate technology for the appropriate research design. Tom is one of the few <clears throat> among us that eagerly grasps the potential of these new technologies, uh, a talent that he will demonstrate for us today. Tom. Evan Levy is Distinguished Professor uh, at UC San Diego. He holds the Norma Kershaw Chair in the Archaeology of Ancient Israel and Neighboring Lands. He is a member of the Department of Anthropology and Judaic Studies Program, and he leads, of course, the Cyber Archaeology Research Group at the California Center of Telecommunications and Information Technology right here. Elected to the Academy in 2008, Tom is one of the leading archaeologists with interests in the role of technology and social evolution. He not only uses technology, he studies it. He is particularly interested in early mining and metallurgy. He is also a leading theorist modeling human social interactions from the beginning of what we call sedentary life of our species around 9,000 years ago to the rise of the first historic Levantine state societies in the Iron Age, circa 1200 BCE. 
He's a fellow of the Explorers Club, and he won the 2011 Lowell Thomas Award for Exploring the World's Greatest Mysteries. He has been the principal investigator of numerous interdisciplinary archaeological field projects in Israel and Jordan, funded by many, many institutions, including National Geographic, National Endowment for the Humanities, National Science Foundation, and private donors. Tom also conducts contemporary research in India with his wife, Alina Levy. They just co-authored the book, Masters of Fire, Hereditary Bronze, Casters of South India. Tom has published 10 books and several hundred research articles. I mean that, several hundred. Makes, makes some of us humble. Levy's most recent book is titled Historical Bibliarchaeology, The New Pragmatism, recently, that recently won the best scholarly book from the Biblical Archaeological Society. So with that, it is my pleasure to introduce my dear friend, Tom Levy. Thank <clears throat> you.